So most surgery is the ideal way to remove skin cancers. It is ideal uh, because it combines on-site examination of the cancer tissue and it is confirmed under the microscope that the cancer has been removed before the cancer defect is stitched up. Traditional surgery um, removes the offending tissue in the hopes that the cancer has been removed, but all too often the report comes back from the laboratory several weeks later only to find that we didn't get it all. So rather than having tissue sent out for testing, it is kept within the laboratory that is within this clinic. And I examine the tissue under the microscope in my capacity as a skin pathologist. And if or once we know that it has been removed in its entirety, then and only then is the defect closed. So Mohs surgery is unusual in the sense that it combines examination of tissue, which is a pathology procedure, with um, skin cancer surgery, which is of course a surgical specialty. And the, one of the many appeals of the procedure is that it is minimally invasive, is done under local anesthesia, and by virtue of being able to um, take as little tissue as possible, it is therefore called tissue sparing, it means that the defect um, is as small as is possible, and by extension, the ultimate surgical scar is as small as possible and as nice looking as is possible.